do you reckon we can... Wait, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Australian. Do you reckon we can see a True Lies sequel in the future? Well, I'm going to do the True Lies series. Uh, the TV, there's a series. Uh, I did Arnold's uh, Netflix show. He's got a Netflix spy show that's a little like True Lies, except with him and the daughter. And then next week I go down to uh, Atlanta, and there's a CBS series where there's a guy, a younger guy playing me, and uh, Arnold and, and Jamie Lee, and they wrote a great character for me. So Jim Cameron's producing it. So uh, I think that'll be great fun. When can we expect to see it on our screens? Well, I think it'll be the, 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 this spring. But tomorrow morning, Arnold and I are giving away 2,500 turkeys down in South Central uh, L.A. So if you, if you need a turkey, we're giving them away. And then Christmas, the week before Christmas, we give 10,000 gifts away every year. This we've done for 20, over 20 years. And so I do spend a lot of time with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, and, and, uh, but I'd love to work with him again. I had great fun this summer. We'll see what happens. If you were to do another film with Arnold, what would it be and why? Well, I hopefully it would be porn because we're really at both at a peak of our game. Now, he, you know, he's 75. He's amazing for 75. You know, the first thing I got to Toronto to film, and he's like, let's go for a bike ride. And we rode a bicycle. We, he rides bicycles every day downtown, you know, and he rides in the front like he does when we ride motorcycles. I always ride in the back because that way I can see when he goes down not to hit that same hole. So it'd be, it's just always great to be around him. He's the best guy in the world. My son, who's nine, is uh, going. He loves Arnold. He's got a huge Arnold Schwarzenegger poster in his room. And uh, everybody loves Arnold. Yeah. What's the best piece of advice that Arnold's ever given you? Show up on time, because the day you don't will be the day they need you. You know, there was a lot of waiting around in the first movie we did, but he was right, you know. And uh, show up on time and sit in your trailer for three days while they blow up bridges. But he's, been, he's given me a lot of great advice. His big, biggest advice is whatever you could do, whatever acclaim you get or fame or whatever, you need to be of service to other people. You need to take that and be of service. And Arnold's a guy that came here in 1968 with, I imagine, a pair of short shorts and a sticky tank top and 30 cents. And he, he's, a, he's done every dream he's ever had. He said, I want to do that. He's given away hundreds of millions of dollars and set up amazing charities. And I'm honored to be a part of some of those. You know, and he's had success in every field he's ever done. And who knows what's next for him? Because he's, he's young still. I could take him, but he's young. Thank you.